Hello everyone, welcome to Realism Overhaul Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In my recently released video on FASA, people recommended a whole bunch of other Apollo and Saturn V mods. And one that I had not been aware of before was this Katniss mod. Uh, and one reason I wasn't aware of it was it doesn't actually have a release here. Uh, so it's a, it's a somewhat hidden mod, but I decided to try it out. It does have a few flaws. For those who recommended it, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what they were thinking because it doesn't actually have the lunar module. So um, it's not an all-in-one mod like FASA. Uh, but I decided that it might be okay to combine it with FASA and just use the Apollo command and service module and lander from FASA with uh, the rocket from Katniss's mod here. And this Saturn V is better than the FASA Saturn V. And I'll explain how to do that. But first I need to broach the subject of all the other mods people recommended. Uh, so BDB. Well, BDB doesn't have good realism overhaul configurations. I tried. First of all, it's not very focused on the subject. It's a two gigabyte mod. And most of that is not going to be used by somebody trying to simulate Apollo and Saturn V. And the, the Apollo command module was not properly configured in Realism Overhaul anymore. Realism Overhaul had configurations for BDB, but BDB changed, and now it's all a mess. So basically, that's where we're at. And I looked at it, and I'm going like, it's got to take a lot of work to fix that business. So yeah, not on my to-do list right now. Uh, it's just really too big a mod to deal with. And as far as the RO mods, the RO engines, RO capsules, RO, the, the, all those, they're not focused on the purpose very well. Uh, you're installing quite a large amount of mods and putting it together in the way it's meant to be isn't super guaranteed, you know, where all the decouplers are and all that business has to be done right. And so it doesn't feel as coherent as building the rocket with a mod like FASA or this Katniss mod or something like that. So basically that's my feeling about those situations. You can try and like, I, I don't know, as far as building the Saturn V out of the Aro mods, I'm not too sure that's the greatest idea. But anyway, so th those are those mods. And somebody mentioned Deku's Saturn V. That was actually one that was... Uh, part of what Raider Nick had recommended to me, but uh, that mod has not been updated in a while, and I feel it's better to go with Katniss's mod for Saturn V because Katniss is still around and doing stuff with KSP, so that's probably a positive. Uh, unfortunately, FASA is uh, sort of left in the dark here on the pod side, but uh, on the rocket side, I think Deku's. Saturn V is mainly the rocket. I forget if it's got the spacecraft or not. But yeah, rocket-wise, this is probably the better choice on balance. So as far as installing it is concerned, it doesn't have a release. So you're going to have to go here to download zip. And that will include the source, which you don't need, unfortunately. You only need the stuff in this game data thing. And as far as installing is concerned, I'm not going to show unzipping it, but you just unzip the game data bit into your game data folder, and then you have that. Other things you will need are waterfall, smokescreen, realism overhaul, textures unlimited, and B9 part switch. If you have done any of the example installs that I've done, you know, where I've told you how to install Giulio Dondi Space Shuttle or uh, any number of other things, um, you should already have these. So a standard realism overhaul install should have waterfall smoke screen, realism overhaul textures and limited MB9 part switch. So that should be okay. Soft dependencies. SSTO is really big. Uh, uh, sorry, SSTU. SSTU Labs is really big. So I'm not too sure I would want to install that, and I didn't. Uh, simple adjustable fairings for the fairings I did install. And you should just copy this into Google and get it that way. Uh, and then use this version of staged animation. Uh, so you click that. And this also doesn't have releases. So uh, just download it. And again, the game data thing, plop into your game data folder. So that is the idea. That's how it's installed. But putting it together took a little bit of work because there's no set craft file for this. Let's run KSP and I'll show you what's what. 
Okay, so here's what the combination of FASA and Katniss's Saturn V looks like. And I have tried it out up to the point where I did the transposition and docking with the FASA spacecraft, you know, so we turn around the Apollo Command module and dock to the lunar module. And everything past that I've already done with FASA, so I didn't have to recheck that. So I just needed to make sure I could get out of the fairing here, which is important. The fairing is like this, right? It's sort of tucked in. And that seems to be more accurate than the version with FASA. So basically, everything except for the Apollo Command and Service Module and the Lunar Module are from Katniss, except, except the J2. Um, and the reason is, for some reason, uh, the J2s from the Katniss mod uh, don't have any textures. So I think that might be because I didn't install SSTU Labs, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. So I needed to use a different one, and another option would be BDB, but that would be installing a two gigabyte mod to use one engine from it. Uh, or if you wanted to use the F1s from it, you could do that. However, when I tried to use the F1s, and I did actually install the BDB mod to assess it, uh, when I tried to use the engines from the BDB mod, it seemed to have a part switch issue. I have B9 part switch, but it seemed to be showing a longer nozzle variant that had the exhaust, uh, so the F1B variant potentially, and that wasn't exactly great. So obviously it wouldn't look right for an Apollo 11 recreation. So I don't know how to fix that. It might be realism overhaul interfering with it. Like I said, the realism overhaul configs aren't quite working right with the BDB mod, so uh, for now I'm just using the F1 engines from Katniss, or you could choose to use the F1 engines from uh, from FASA instead if you want the non-insulated version. I don't see a way to change from the insulated version to the non-insulated version here, so if you want the non-insulated version you would probably need to use the one from FASA. And so just a reminder what that looks like. Find it here. There we are. Uh, that's what the version from FASA looks like. So not too bad. And otherwise, there is one sort of flaw in this, and that's that there are no nodes for these outer ones. The way the Katniss mod is made, it is made around these clusters. And so you're supposed to have all of them put together as a cluster. The problem with that is you can't do a center engine shutdown with a cluster like that. So because it was meant to have the cluster, uh, there, there is no center engine shutdown, but there's also no nodes specifically for these. Uh, you have to service mount them. Uh, it's actually worse for the second stage where, uh, well, first of all, I don't think we even have the right cluster because the J2s aren't working right. But uh, the second stage, the S2 stage, does not have surface mounting. So instead I had to sneak in and put radial attachment points, you can see them there, in order to be able to attach these at all. Uh, so yeah, or maybe the J2s don't have uh, the surface attach. Now I don't know if I've uh, put this together perfectly, but I did test it out and I also set it uh, to have the action groups of the script that I use, the KOS script. So toggling the center engine, toggling the outer engines for the first stage, the center engine on the second stage, outer engines on the second stage, and then the S4B engine just in case. And since I pulled things off I'm just double checking. Uh, staging the S2 tank actually stages the skirt and then that is launch escape assembly. So I'll give you guys the craft file so you don't have to put this together because actually it's a little bit hard to figure out uh, where all the pieces are. Uh, though not as hard as if you had BDB in here. I actually had to put this together while I had BDB in here and that was quite daunting because there was a lot more parts than even this. So yeah. I think this will work out if you like this look better. And this is more accurate to the look of Saturn V. Uh, so 
this is an option and I will share this as a craft file in the video description. Again, you'll just have to install FASA first like I did in the previous video, then install Katniss's mod, and then you should be able to use this. Uh, I've configured everything correctly. Do if, if for some reason there's a problem with this, uh, make sure that there's enable crossfeed here, otherwise the outer engines won't get any fuel. If you find that only the center engine is working, uh, make sure to press enable crossfeed there. That was one of the problems I had. Just thinking through what other issues there might be. Um, the RCS thrust from the APS units I guess I've, I'm mixed up now because of the Ariane 6 launch and they have the APS there. Uh, where's the APU? Anyway, I'm mixed up about that. But anyway, these units here have RCS. They're just very faint. And you'll need to make sure that the RCS thrust is enabled. And the reason you need to make sure about that is because the staging here actually fires the separation motors. So keep that in mind. Just double check that the RCS is enabled after you do that. And the whole thing also requires procedural parts, and that's only for the decoupler down here. And so to decouple the lunar module off, I've put a procedural decoupler here in order to do that. And so you do need procedural parts along with FASA and the Katniss mod. So the other thing to mention is that the Katniss mod does take a little bit over 200 megabytes, so it's pretty big. And it does contain a lot of parts that have to do with Katniss's alternate history and so won't be directly relevant to the creation of the Apollo 7 and 5. But plus side wise, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, at least it doesn't contain too much stuff. You do have to make sure to get the fixes for FASA that I put previously. Uh, so especially the fix for this, the lunar module which will ensure that uses the RCS uh, propellants that's supposed to Arizine and Mon 3, uh, sorry, Mon 1. And I will also link in the video description a fix for the plumes for the J2. So there's a FASA plume fix so that the J2 looks right. All right, that should be it. So take a look at the video description for all that stuff. The craft file and the fix for the plumes. And that's all I have to say about that. So this is another option. It looks a little bit better than the straight up FASA option, but it does take a little bit more space and a little bit more RAM. So if your system is a little bit constrained on that, it might be a little bit more of a problem. With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.